welcome to choco international i am nilamadhu jana speaking this is related to central bank digital currency issued by rbi india the cbdc is a sovereign currency issued by rbi it appears as a liability on rbi balance sheet this central bank digital currency was indicated in the budget 2223 of government of india and these are two segment wholesale segment and retail segment wholesale segment released on november 1st november 2022 retail segment is is expected released within a month digital currency is required because 80% overall retail transaction done through cash nine banks are authorized for the participation in pilot project the banks are state bank of india bank of baroda union bank hdfc icci kotak mahindra s bank idfc bank sjcb bank digital rupee bears the same value and legitimacy as a bankable note or coin except that it takes no physical form digital currency will not replace the existing physical notes the cbdc are based on same blockchain to- technology like other cryptocurrencies retail cbdc is conceptual to be used by all citizens wholesale by only selected financial institution digital money can streamline the current financial infrastructure making it cheaper faster and conduct monetary transaction a central bank digital currency a fiat currency cryptocurrency is a form of decentralized digital currency but that is not paid to any fiat fiat currency cryptocurrency is a digital form of decentralized digital currency that is not not paid to any fiat currency payment using cbdc will be final the reduced settlement is in financial system cbdc Depart further from the other form of digital coins that they are directly backed by central bank deposits or government pledge. So yes, so it it provides trust, regulatory stability, and audit transparency. CBDC will reduce cost of printing, storage, and transport. It can be used in no normal transfer like NFT and UPI. UPI 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 is a real-time payment system for instant money transfer between any two banks' accounts held in participant banks in India. UPI is an instant payment system developed by National Payment Corporation of India. However, the UPI transactions are completely backed by physical currency, digital currency, digital rupee or CBDC, the legal tender in itself need not necessarily be backed by physical currency. The first best UPI Google Pay, Paytm, Phone Pay, Bhim, and Amazon Pay. What is advantage? Cash being torn and damaged, cash being stolen, susceptible to errors on accounting, fraud and money laundering. These risks are negative with introduction of digital rupee. Digital currency will reduce the possibility of fraud on money. Digital currency can be tracked. Uh, this is through digital wallet. Legal tender is anything recognized by law. as a means to settle a public and private debt or meet the financial obligation including tax payment contracts legal fines and damages national currency is a legal tender in practical in every country the fiat currency is a national currency that is not paid to the piece of commodity of such as gold and silver the value of fiat currency largely decided by the issuer that is rbi in india digital sir all digital wallets are online payment tools usually in the form of app The wallet secures stores a virtual version debit card and credit card, so you do not need to enter the card details or carry any physical card at all make payments. The remark digital currency will provide hundred percent transparency in the accounting system. Government can track any transaction any time. But one problem now nobody is paying service tax during the physical transaction in any market anywhere. but digital transaction is expected to be exempted from the ambit of service tax in the interest of common customer in future with this to print a copy like and subscribe put the bell icon thank you